Even before their first powered flight, the Wright brothers were convinced that pilots should have full three-dimensional control of an aircraft. They used elevators to control lift, rudders to turn, and they invented wing warping, a system of cables that enabled pilots to twist the plane's wings to roll or bank. On the 20th of September, 1904, the Wrights achieved a 360-degree bank turn that lasted a minute and a half. Recognizing that a plane should bank its wings in order to turn was a revolution in aviation. Wing warping had made possible the first aerobatic type maneuver in history. European inventors liked what they saw. They rushed to copy the Wright brothers' design, but they drew the line at wing warping. They believed airplanes shouldn't roll at all. It was much too dangerous. As a result, their planes could fly safely only in the absence of wind. But one French inventor agreed with the Wright brothers. Louis Blériot gave up a successful automobile business to build and fly airplanes. He'd already experimented with ways to control lift and direction. Now, he risked personal fortune to build a plane with wing warping as well. In 1909, less than a year after Wilbur Wright first demonstrated wing warping in France, Louis Blériot reserved a place for himself in aviation history. The event which really made aviation headline news and brought it into the consciousness of people all over the world was Louis Blériot's flight across the channel. The flight itself was of little importance because he only flew for approximately half an hour, but for the first time, someone had flown across a sea, and especially a border and a country that had always felt protected by the seas could now, all of a sudden, be invaded by airplanes. It was an extraordinary idea. Within weeks of the Channel crossing, the French city of Rheims staged the world's first major aviation exhibition. More than 300,000 spectators gathered to witness for themselves this phenomena of flight. Prizes totaling 200,000 francs were offered to pilots who excelled in speed, altitude and endurance. The speed contest pitted Louis Blerio against American aviation pioneer Glenn Curtis. Curtis's plane had hinged panels between the wings, the forerunners of today's ailerons. Replacing wing warping with ailerons was the second major advance in aviation. It made possible the construction of airplanes with stronger, more rigid wings, airplanes that could fly faster, further, and with greater precision. The public's fascination with aviation was growing. In the next year alone, more than 20 air shows in Europe and a dozen more in America attracted huge crowds. Pilots were becoming more confident in their flying machines and in their ability to keep them under control. <laughs> 